is up, y'all. As you can see, I'm in a different territory, in a different field of life right now. Getting ready to go, go for a three day hike. I've never done this before, but today is a different day. It's a different season. And I'm just out here experiencing something new. And you guys are here to tune in with me. So stay tuned. Well, the journey begins. Officially have our packs ready to go. All we need to do is just make those steps, get to our site, and you know, just enjoy this camping trip while we were out here. And just like that, the journey begins. I was definitely not prepared for this. I didn't know how treacherous this trail was gonna be. And you can just tell by the look of my face that I was not feeling it at first. But luckily, my homeboy Christian knew the way. He was a great guide. And luckily for me, he knew the way. So really appreciate you, man. Bro, this is amazing. So right now, this is where it begins, where we actually go up this elevation, 1200. Feet. I don't know how high we are right now, but basically it's gonna be hell. That's all you need to know. Isn't that over here? Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. You see this rock right here? The purest indication that we're 1,200 feet of elevation. Is it hard work? Yes. But it is worth the achievement, worth the walk. Right now, we're gonna find a way to. I want to say camp, but you know, basically, you know, wind down for a little bit. I guess take a little break. And that measly break did not last long as we continued to march and march until finally this happened. Okay, y'all, after four or five hours of just hiking, walking two hours per mile, we are pretty damn close. And when I say pretty damn close, it's right there. It's a couple more steps, a couple more feet, and all this hard work of walking is going to finally pay off. Yeah, I'm here to intervene again. So originally I was going to record everything up until I will after this point, but it got dark pretty fast and I was definitely not prepared for any of that type of scenery. So what we decided to do was just find a spot where we can set up camp, you know, find resources for fire and uh, just cook for the night, settle down and make plans for the next day. Oh, speaking of the next day, Holy yeah. crap, bro. Can't beat views like this, man. Can't beat them. Yeah, this is, uh, this is insane. And the insaneness does not stop there as we stumbled upon this cave. And when I say this was a whole new experience for me, this was a whole new experience. I am just super excited to be in this cave right now. But that's besides the point. We're now traveling to a different location where we can finally feel comfortable in dipping in the water. As we're going there, we see all these different things. It's a very beautiful spot. Very beautiful spot. So we just came from... Little Rock, huh? Or Eagle Rock? The, Eagle? Uh, we, we came from the Little Missouri Trail. Little Missouri Trail. And yeah. so now we're going to... Now, right now this is the, uh, um, the rest of Eagle Rock Loop over here. Okay. Bro, this looks unrealistic. Yeah. Unreal, bro. Let me start kicking so I don't come over here. Yo, bro, what are you doing right now, bro? Even a rock stack here right by the river so that way we leave our mark on the trail but it's safe from the environment because it's the same rock but this is how we'll know it's ours because of this little tower here Sheesh. It is right there. next time we come out here and we don't see this bro I'm coming for your head so we decided to pack up finally heading back to my car because we have yet another destination on this trail that we would like to visit before we leave on Monday. In the meantime, I'll just be recording. I'll walk back and show y'all guys the next destination. I will say this trail was probably the worst experience I've ever had, even though this is my only trail. <laughs> but that's besides the point. I was super fed up. Look at my face. I was not having it. Luckily, this one lady was super nice to give us a ride back to our car. We are back to the car. 
that walk was so tedious and treacherous that there was we had to have somebody come get us and take us to our car and luckily this nice lady came by and stopped and said it was okay for us to take the ride so if we would have kept walking we probably would have died like honestly <laughs> but uh I'm gonna load up my car head out to the river and keep enjoying our time here we finally made it to the sign it's been a wild trip a great one though but definitely wild two day one night see the sign right here it's gonna head out and uh, depending on how far this next destination is we will arrive it's been fun Ochita National Forest I gotta leave you and I'll see you guys soon